strikes in Washington County, Illinois, destroying one building and leaving nearly two dozen residents without power for hours. It happened last night in Hoylton, Illinois, about an hour east of St. Louis, just off Interstate 64. Megan Danahay reports from our Illinois newsroom. The National Weather Service believes it was not a tornado, but straight line winds that struck just before 10. It's getting ready to go to bed and I did not think we had a problem. It did not sound like we were going to have a storm. Royalton Fire Protection District Chief Brad Rommelman says the storm struck suddenly. When we arrived on scene, we had the building collapse, we had gas leaking, and we had hot power lines down on the road. This is the worst of the damage. The Hoylton upholstery building was destroyed. The walls caving in, the roof gone. I was just sitting there on, on my computer and the power went out and I just thought it was another typical storm. Just two blocks down St. Louis Street, Nick Bathan says he didn't think the storm was a big deal until. And I heard a boom and I thought that was just thunder hitting really close. Then a firefighter knocked on the door. A large part of the roof from the upholstery building slammed down right next to his house. And it could have been worse, could have landed on the house. It caused some damage to the siding. The winds also ripped some siding off the garage and back. And workers had to cut down a tree in front of the house. A couple of houses up the street, you'll find another piece of the roof wrapped around a power pole. Some of these houses also sustained broken windows and other minor damage. Back at the Hoylton upholstery, volunteers spent the day salvaging everything they could. The business owner is in California right now. They are, they are struggling to get a flight back from California, and we told them, don't worry about it, we'll take care of it. Um, a small town like we are, we come together pretty well. Megan Danahay, News 4. They are used to severe weather in this part of Illinois. Just a couple miles away from Hoylton, a deadly tornado severely damaged a church in New Minden back in November in 2013. Just this past Sunday, the congregation rededicated that repaired church. Was it criminal wrongdoing or just bad bookkeeping? The state audit that is now spurring an investigation into a Metro East city. Improving weather for the opening of Oklahoma here at the Muni. Skies are looking brighter with some sunshine. Storms have moved out. And some details on changing humidity you'll like to hear coming up. I'm Maurice Drummond here in Chicago, Illinois. What's next for the Rams and the city of St. Louis? I'll have a preview of tomorrow's owners' meetings coming up later in sports. Failure's not an option. So we're moving forward. Businesses in Ferguson vandalized and looted for the second time in the last year. How they're recovering and rebuilding after last night's violence, next on News 4 at 6. The News 4 Illinois Newsroom is brought to you by Cantor & Berger, an experienced injury law firm.